students to the White Mountains Regional High School class of 2020 and congratulations. My name is Chuck Lloyd. I'm the president of White Mountains Community College. I'm here to present three awards for free courses. First of all, I appreciated the ability to review the essays from these students and I will say after reading them, it is clear they play right into our mission statement around enriching people's lives. And that's what we are all about. Uh, so first and foremost, I would like to present these three credit tuition scholarships to McKenna Allen, who has been accepted into our teacher education program. Connor Bossy, who has been accepted into our automotive technology program. And finally, Susan Gessel, who has been accepted into our health science program. I'd like to congratulate these three individuals and I look forward to seeing them in the fall and all the best to all of you 2020 graduates on whatever the future may hold. Congratulations, White Mountain Regionals Class of 2020. I'm Carol Carlson Cunningham, President of the Twin Mountain Bretton Woods Chamber of Commerce. And on behalf of our members, extend our heartiest congratulations and best wishes for the future to all graduates. Each year, we award a scholarship to a deserving Twin Mountain resident who will be furthering his or her education. This year, we are proud to announce two recipients, Sarah Gauthier, who will be attending Unity College, and Maya Brown, who will be attending Plymouth State University in the fall. Congratulations, girls, and the class of 2020. Everybody. The Morrison Communities is pleased to award a total of $1,000 in scholarships to a senior who plans to pursue a career in nursing. Our first scholarship is awarded to Haley Hicks in the amount of $250. Congratulations, Haley. Our second scholarship is awarded to William Rutherford in the amount of $250. Congratulations to you, William. Our last and final scholarship is awarded to Kaylin Jones in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Kaylin. On behalf of all of us at the Morrison Communities, congratulations and good luck to the entire graduating class of 2020. We are so proud of all your accomplishments. Good luck. Enjoy your summer. everyone. I'm Jocelyn Wyman. And I'm Kaylee Ledoux. We're representing the White Mountains chapter of the National Junior Honor Society at the Whitefield School. We are happy to be here to present this $500 scholarship to a very deserving student. The recipient of this year's award attended the Whitefield School and was a member of NJHS. Works hard in everything she does and is a very distinguished leader. On behalf of our NJHS membership and chapter, we are honored to present this award tonight to Ms. Tama Ronish. Congratulations, Tama. We want to congratulate you graduates of the class of 2020. It's been a crazy year for you and we know it's been stressful and we know it's not a regular graduation, but you know what, you guys, you did it. We're all proud of you. And we do the John Emerson Scholarship every year in memory of my nephew and Amber Culver's brother, John Emerson, who was a graduate of White Mountains. Our entire family, we are Spartans. So on behalf of the John Emerson Memorial Scholarship. We would like to present the award this year to a very worthy recipient, Kaylin Jones. Congratulations, we wish you nothing but the best. Call Tammy to receive your reward. So we pay first semester. So call us. On behalf of the New Hampshire Family, Career and Community Leaders of America Association, I would like to congratulate both Kaylin Jones and Danica Watson for completing all five modules of the Power of One. Both students will be receiving a book scholarship from the association with details in their letter. Again, congratulations to both of you. I'm very proud. As a 36-year member of the New Hampshire Family and Consumer Sciences Association, it is with great pride and pleasure that I announce that Macy McKillop has received the state scholarship for the association. In their words, not mine, she has done us proud. 
Congratulations, Macy. Hi, I'm Judy Ramsdell. And hi, I'm Jean Olson. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Graduation is a very exciting time. It's both an ending and a beginning. It holds the wonderful memories of the past and big dreams for the future. Enjoy this time and chase your dreams. Believe that you can and you will. We wish you many more successes in the future. The Brooke Ramsdell Memorial Scholarship is a scholarship presented to graduating Wright Mounds Regional High School seniors in memory of Brooke Ramsdell, a 2011 graduate of Wright Mountains Regional High School. Brooke was a three-sport athlete who loved her times at the Whitefield School and the White Mountains Regional High School. This scholarship would not be possible without the support of family, friends, co-workers, local businesses, and our community, which we're so thankful for. Thank you to each and every one of you who support the scholarship and our events. It is an honor and privilege to present the following nine scholarships to these dedicated and hardworking graduates of the class of 2020. $500 scholarships are presented to Kaylin Jones, J.C. Murray, Maya Brown, and Kaylee Madison. $1,000 scholarships are presented to Courtney Patterson and Tama Ronish. $1,500 scholarships are presented to Madison Overoff and Connor Bossy. And $3,000 scholarship is presented to Jackson Curtis. Thank you. Good luck, seniors. Hi, seniors. Mr. Denault here. I first want to start off by congratulating each and every one of you on reaching the graduation milestone. So I am the White Mounds Regional High School Running Start Liaison, and I am here to announce the two winners of this year's Running Start Scholarships. So the recipients of the 2020 Running Start Scholarships are J.C. Murray and Courtney Patterson. Well done, girls. Way to go. Well deserved. All right, so congratulations again on all, on all, to all of you on the graduation. I wish all the teachers could be there to help celebrate with you, but unfortunately that's not possible. But just know that I will be there at graduation.com to watch the whole thing. So again, congratulations. Well done to all. Good evening, graduates. I'm here to present the White Mountains Education Association scholarships for the class of 2020. On behalf of our organization, I would like to say congratulations to the entire graduating class of 2020 and present this year's scholarships to seniors Mackenzie Tremer and McKenna Allen. Congratulations, ladies. Best of luck in your future. North Star Lodge, number eight, free and accepted Masons, Lancaster, New Hampshire is pleased to select Caden Bedell as the recipient, recipient of the 2020 Alvin Whitey Leonard Educational Assistance Award. Congratulations. Hello everyone. I'm very honored to be presenting for the third year in a row the Brody Robinson Memorial Scholarship. Brody Robinson was one of my son's best friends since kindergarten. In October 2017, he was in a terrible car accident and received a traumatic brain injury. In February of 2018, he passed away from his injuries. Brody's name is spoken daily in our house as we share memories and if only we had one more day. Brody lives on in his friends as well as his sisters. Brody was a 2014 graduate from White Mountain Regional High School. His love for horticulture was well known throughout his four years here. One of Brody's long-term goals was to attend a college or vocational school for horticulture. This will be the third year that we've been able to present three $1,000 scholarships to three deserving seniors. Brody's mom and stepfather took a great deal of time reviewing all the applicants and choosing the ones that relate to Brody in one or more ways. The first recipient is planning to attend White Mountains Community College for an associate's degree in applied science and automotive technology. Brody was an avid car enthusiast, and we saw many parallels between Brody and this young man after reading his essay. The first recipient is Connor Bossy. The second recipient is planning to attend the New Hampshire Technical Institute, where she'll begin her journey in the radiologic technology program. The medical field was good to Brody's family, 
through their experience following his accident. We're impressed with the job shadow when this recipient has participated in and felt she has narrowed down her field wisely. The second recipient is Mackenzie Tremer. The third recipient is planning to attend Plymouth State University for nursing. We are pleased to see how much community service and volunteer time this recipient has done. His experience as an LNA has likely helped him decide his journey to become an RN. We like that he has put effort into his career path already. The third and final recipient is William Rutherford. A final message I have for the class of 2020 is live life to the fullest. Be yourself and realize that tomorrow is never promised. Appreciate what you have before it's too late. Congratulations to you all.